watch your step. All right, all right, we're taking off. Uh, James? Nothing. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Hey, what is going on all you bus nuts, geeks, and enthusiasts out there? By now, many of you have already heard the news that as of April 1st, 2024, I became the fifth person in the history of Peoria Charter to be named CEO of the company. I relieve you, sir. I stand relieved. No, no, sorry, wrong clip. Play, play the other one. I want to thank you for your work ethic, your dedication, and your loyalty to the company. I am going to be stepping down as president. I'm going to concentrate on my, my ministry, my Bible bill ministry. James will be the fifth CEO of Peoria Charter Coach. I'm 100% sold on James. Out of anybody who's ever worked for the company, this man has done for the company. No one else has. No one else has. Uh, I'm going to make a prediction, James. Can I do that? Please. James is going to be your best CEO ever. No. He's going to, and I'm going to tell you why. When my grandfather started the business, he took a huge risk. He sold his own car, got a loan from his sister, and started transporting Caterpillar workers. And he ran that business by the seat of his pants. My grandfather, that's how he ran the company. My Uncle Stan. He was, uh, uh, he dispatched drivers, he did all the paperwork for the, the drivers, uh, all the logs and all that stuff. He did it from a dispatch side of things. My dad, number three, he was a fleet manager, technician, and that's how he ran the company. I mean, he, he had those coaches going 100%, and uh, I, don't, I don't know how he did it, and but he did. I have run the company as a CFO. I look at the numbers and um, that's how, I, I, let's face it, I'm a control freak, okay? You know, J James came in today and said, this is how it's gonna go down. And you know, James knows better when I say that to say, yes, sir, <laughs> this is how it's gonna go down. This is the way I wanna go out. So um, I, did it as, I, I, I did it as a CFO. My grandfather had a CDL, my uncle had a CDL, my dad had a CDL. I did not have a CDL. And this is why James is going to be a better CEO. This is why. Because he's coming from the operations side. He's got the whole package. He's got a team of eight people. He sees the whole system. He's got a CDL. He's going to do a better job from the operations standpoint. He loves people. He loves people like I do. No doubt. That's the first thing. Um, I mean, James is likable. You know, it's funny because he's really smart and he's got a good pe personality and people like to be around him. I mean, that's usually not in combination. <laughs> you know, not, I, it's, but that's, that's, that's why you're in good hands. But like James, he's going to need you to be loyal and dedicated and hardworking, just like you did for me. In closing, James, I got a mission for you. If you choose to accept getting this company to 100 years old, right there, I got 75, your job, your mission, 100 years, can you do it? I accept. So, Mike, Mike, you got a camera, come on up. So it's time to pass the baton. <clears throat> time to pass the baton. And James, you are our new CEO. You are in charge of our safety meeting. Take it away. Bill Winkler has had a long and illustrious 23 years as co-owner and president of Peoria Charter, and now he has passed the torch to me. 
Bill will still be an owner of the company, but now he'll be able to enjoy his true passion in life, which is his ministry work. Now, Bill has actually already written and published several children's books already, so if you're interested and want to check out uh, the books or his website, go to BibleBillOnline.com. And if you want to buy a copy or several copies of the children's book that Bill has already published, you can reach out to Bill under the Contacts tab of the website or email him at wink at PeoriaCharter.com. I'll be sure to put the link and contact info down in the information box below. Over the past few weeks, I've received so many congratulations from so many people via email, comments on my YouTube channel, as well as other social media sites. And I just wanna say thank you to all of you. It really means a lot. Now, today's video was actually supposed to be a short video just to announce all of this, but I actually wanna use the next few minutes to answer just a few of the questions left by you, the viewers. One of the most frequently asked questions I've been getting lately from all of you are, are you still gonna be making Motor Coach World videos on YouTube now that you're the CEO of Peoria Charter? And the answer is, you bet your ass. Oh wait, are CEOs allowed to say that? Crap. Rest assured guys, I have way too much fun making YouTube videos about the motor coach world. And yes, I will still make sure I get to log some hours behind the wheel of a motor coach and go on a few trips. And when I do, I'll definitely still vlog them so that all of you can come with me. No matter what title or promotion I get, nothing is going to take me out of the driver's seat of a motor coach. You don't let them do anything that takes you off the bridge of that ship because while you're there, you can make a difference. So another question that a lot of you have asked me recently is, what's it like being the CEO of Peoria Charter? And some of you actually asked me, what's it like being a CEO? So I'm not sure I have an answer for this question yet. I mean, it's only been a week. But what I can say of my experience during this whole transition so far is this. It's kind of like having a baby. There's really no instructions. Have you ever been in a group of friends in a crowded room or something just having a great conversation and then all of a sudden you say something noticeable enough where the entire room goes quiet and just looks at you anticipating your next sentence? It, it, it's kind of like that. All of a sudden there's no one telling you what to do anymore and some of you are probably going, dude, that's awesome. You can do whatever you want. Well, I can, but I have to make sure that everything I do is good for the company and the people that work here. And that's really a lot of pressure. But there's one thing about being a CEO that I've learned so far is that the pressure and fear is instantly taken away and replaced with confidence when I realize that I'm not the guy that's going to make the company thrive and succeed. It's the people that work here that's going to do that. I learned long ago that being a leader is not about me. It's about serving the people that work for you and your organization. You have to make sure they have everything they need to get the job done. You have to make decisions that sometimes won't make you very popular all the time, but it's what's best for the company. And then there are the times that you get to make decisions that will make the whole team cheer with excitement. And those are the moments that I really look forward to. But I gotta say the hardest thing about taking this new role so far is learning to stay back when something happens and letting your team handle it. I'm so used to being hands-on and jumping in to take care of problems, and I can't really do that anymore because if I do, all of a sudden, I'm getting in the way of the managers and staff who are there to take care of this for me, and that's called micromanaging. As the captain of the ship now, I have to really focus on direction and make sure that my team and my crew is trained and capable of getting the ship to go to, towards the direction that I want it to go. And I gotta say, that's where I really lucked out because Peoria Charter has a wonderful team of people here and they know their jobs well. And by the way, we are hiring for motor coach operators. What changes are you going to make at Peoria Charter? Well, nothing. I think the company has a great recipe and a great culture and it's the culture that lured me here in the first place. I'm gonna read you guys a comment left by an old childhood friend of mine that walked with me to school every morning. I actually remember saying this to him. Congratulations, James. 
Long ago, you mentioned how you wanted to drive for Peoria Charter because of how good of a company it was, but you had to be a certain age. Since then, not only have you fulfilled that wish, but you've ended up taking the lead. That's quite a journey. I think that says enough. So those are the three most asked questions that many of you have sent me, but please feel free to email me or leave me things that you want me to touch on or make a video of down in the comments below. And speaking of videos, there's one more thing I want to let all of you in on. Next week, I'm flying out to California. MCI has invited me to an event out there and there's gonna be some really cool things to see and some fun bus stuff to do. I'm not going to reveal too much on what they're gonna have me do yet, but stay tuned because that's probably going to be my next video and trust me, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. But once again, I wanna say thank you everyone for your kind words and all the support over the years. Special thanks to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon and have purchased my Motor Coach World merch. And if you haven't seen it yet, check out my merch store. I'll put the link down below. And I hope for those of you who have purchased my merch already, that you guys are enjoying them. I feel like that I also have the best fans in the motor coach world that watch this channel. All the words of encouragement and enjoyment and the feedback from all of you on my videos have really given me the drive to come out with bigger, better content over the years. And I can't leave out all the cool gifts that some of you have sent me as well. I've definitely built up quite a collection of model buses and other knickknacks in my office from all of you. And I gotta mention Beryl White, a viewer of my channel, this is not only supporting me on Patreon, but he sends me a new bottle of hot sauce every month. And I haven't gotten around to trying all of them yet, but I absolutely love my hot sauce collection. So thank you, Beryl. So folks, wish me luck as I start this next chapter of my life and definitely stay tuned for more upcoming videos here on Motor Coach World, as well as my other channel, Jay Wang Vlogs. And as always, if you're watching this, you are part of the Motor Coach World.